Okay, we're live. Ready to go, yeah. Okay, go, go. Ah, there we go, okay. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à nouveau à Cap Town. Alors, après trois heures d'attente dans le rive, dans le vent et dans l'humidité, le voilà enfin, Tapio le Tinen qui arrive. Alors, vous l'avez peut-être remarqué sur le truck. Oh, je parle peut-être plus fort, je parle peut-être un peu trop fort. Euh, vous l'avez peut-être remarqué sur le truck. Euh, il était très près de Kirsten, il était à une mille, de, à une, euh, mille nautiques derrière. Et euh, attendez, je vois pas ce qu'il fait donne avec la lumière. Il était à une minute derrière et puis euh, et puis après il s'est arrêté. Il était à un nœud, à un nœud et demi, à, à seulement 7000 du bord. Et puis le voilà arrivé. Je me demande s'il est pas. Hey, à We're hungry. What do you got? <laughs> okay. So uh, you want to just head over to starboard? You're cutting at an angle. Just go to starboard. Come to starboard, you're going at an angle. The line's over here. Okay. I, I, I thought about that phone that, that uh, three months, once in three seconds. That's okay, the line goes right across. Just head okay. straight for that because you're nearly over anyway. Moi tapio. You're about 150 meters from the line. Pardon? You're about 150 meters from the line. Okay. Yeah. Hop, il finish. Yeah. <rire> ouais, donc le voilà, le voilà enfin arrivé. Don lui a donné les informations de comment s'approcher de la ligne, tout ça. Euh, et, et en effet, il a mis vraiment long. Ah, il parle à un finnois. <rire> il parle à un finnois à Alex qui est avec nous dans le bateau, qui est son Alex. neveu. Je sais pas où il est derrière. Ouais, il se parle enfin là. Non, on ne sait pas trop ce qu'il dit. Il fait ses, donc il fait ses manœuvres. Vous l'entendez parler, mais il ne parle ni anglais ni français. Donc on ne sait pas encore ce qu'il dit. Et il se, se prête à, à passer la ligne d'arrivée. Euh, on était, je vous disais tout à l'heure qu'il était à seulement et il venait bien. Et puis d'un coup, il est passé à un nœud, à un nœud pendant des milles et des milles. Les dernières milles, c'était très long. Je pense qu'à la fin, il a dû, je ne sais pas, parce qu'il n'y a pas de brise, donc il a dû peut-être mettre le moteur un petit peu à la fin, on va lui demander. Et, euh, et Don nous racontait, Don McIntyre nous racontait que lorsqu'il était, lorsqu'il est arrivé dans le box challenge, il a dû attendre avant d'être ici. Il a dû attendre 34 aussi. <laughs> so uh, we might go with the Finnish commentary. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give a Finnish commentary? Just to tell them what's going on in Finnish. <laughs> And then we'll do English. No, terveisiä täältä tota Kapkaupungista. Mä yritän vähän... Yeah. Keep talking. Oh, mä yritän tässä vähän suomeksi uh, selittää, mutta Tapi on just saapunut. Kello on nyt puol kaks. Ja tota... Ai joo, ihan... Ihan hyvä keli olla täällä katsomassa, mutta purjettiminen on vähän vaikeampi. Ja nyt ylitettiin linja. Yeah, yeah, she's gone. She passed you. Oh, that's her. I think that's her port light down there. She, you can see her her red light on the horizon when you turn around. Oh, that's her out there. So we'll let him. We'll let him. Okay, so we're just going to let him go around on course again now, um, and then once he's on course, we'll come alongside and have a chat. But the boat looks good, eh? The boat looks go, boat looks quite cool. Um, okay, we're going to swap around this way. We're just swapping our mics and cables everywhere. <laughs> so, okay. So, what do you want to do, Tapia? You want to stop, or want to just go ahead slowly? Might be easier to stop, eh? Boat. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just probably just let it stop and then uh, just drift. So boat looks good. Tapio's another one is not reporting much in the way of problems. So uh, sails look good. You've got one reef in the main and motoring in, so that's cool. Um, and now just heading back out to sea again. We can still see Kirsten. Oh. <laughs> Turn the engine off. Okay, we can we can go in alongside now. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Cape Town. Yeah. So you know you're third. I know that. <laughs> so. So that's good. Good to see you. Been a while. Yeah. Well, time goes fast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, all very good. Well, we'll come in and. Uh, I might want to grab the side of the boat there, I think, a little bit. So, so don't let us forget the films and stuff, Tapio. Here it comes. I'll, I'll give them right away, so we won't. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so it's a logbook which uh, contains a few letters there written yep, in sure. into the book. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Perfect. So right. hey. May I you shake can't his hand. No, 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 sheepers. This no one can touch it. Sheepers. Don't, don't, oh, seriously, don't touch you. You wouldn't believe the amount of comments we'd get if that happened. Uh, well, the only reason we can touch the boat is because we're organisers. <laughs> oh boy, you frightened me then. Okay. Anyway, so um, when are you going to tidy up all your lines? It's looking a bit messy down there. <laughs> housekeeping, housekeeping. That, that, that's, that's what I mostly do when I'm sailing this boat. I, yeah, I yeah. counted that I have 44 different lines coming to the cockpit, so most of the time I'm just coiling them up. Yeah, so you're happy? Very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're in third place. Great. No barnacles? Have you had a look? I, I, have, I haven't looked uh, <laughs> over the side uh, since I cleaned them, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that there's no big, big problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I recognize. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. I have seasick. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great, we've we've great all been be hanging there. out. So uh, I'm looking forward to next year when I can get ashore. <laughs> next year? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Now we'll see you in Hobart before then. But anyway, um, so yeah, you're happy. Uh, no barnacles. Everything's a bit different than last time. Oh the, yes, yes. The, no, the boat is now in such a shape that, that she was uh, planned to be the first time already. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah exactly. So to, to explain how you're feeling, you know, GGR, like the second, second time round, hey, what's it all about? Uh, it, it was actually uh, fun, funny how, uh, how after I hadn't sailed the boat for three years, um, for more than only a few times, a couple of days. But, but uh, during the first week, I gradually got back into the mood, and it felt like I was just continuing the previous race. And uh, I just uh, love being at sea and sailing her, and yeah. and, uh, and enjoy it much more uh, without being. Uh, needing to be anxious for different things falling apart uh, as yeah, last yeah. time. Yeah, that's cool. You look good. You, oh, look, you look like you've, you've lost a few years of age. I mean, you look <laughs> younger than when you set out. Yeah. <laughs> it must be the lighting. Yeah, I, I, I love being at sea, and, and uh, but uh, I understand that, that these stopovers are part of the. Uh, uh, part of the program and, and, and the race but but I, I have to say that that uh, whenever I get this close to land I, I start feeling uh, stressful and, and then when there's 100 miles to the closest land then then I relax and, and enjoy. Exactly yeah yeah well Matessio got caught in a ship as you know he bent his bowsprit but he straightened it and he's on his way again <laughs> you know so yeah part of the course anyway all good and uh, What's gone wrong with the boat? Nothing. Uh, well, there's always a to-do list, but but nothing nothing serious. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, speaking of speaking of the lines, we we changed uh, quite a uh, many of them before the start, and in such a hurry that that most of them are them are too long. So 
that's one thing on my to-do list is yeah. to cut them to the right right length then I fit fit myself better in, into the cot. Yeah. We're gonna be drifting apart here, we might need to um, anyway, that's cool. So and so food's good, you know, you got plenty of reading, entertainment's all good. Yeah, yeah, everything is fine and I'm uh, enjoying re reading my books and, and yeah. uh, haven't listened actually uh, very much music, but, but yeah, I, yeah. I guess that will come in the Southern Ocean. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And what about weather forecasts? Big question on everyone's lips. Have you been uh, getting any at all? Very little. And yeah. uh, my attitude is that I, I take the weather uh, as it is given. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, knowing and uh, speculating much beforehand doesn't doesn't make you much much wiser. You, yeah. you have to play it by by the moment anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the best part so far? The fun part. Just, just sailing and being at sea. Yeah, yeah. And, and of, of course, uh, that from my point of view, uh, this is different because uh, I'm, I'm, I both love sailing and be th being at sea. But then all, I, I have also uh, raced with sa sailboats since I was 10 years old. And last time it was a big disappointment not to be able to take part in the race and. And this time it's it's really fantastic that we have we have six boats now in the race uh, and uh, uh, the, in my opinion any one of the six uh, uh, or or the, let's say so that that the six first boats this time can be uh, at the Salvador de Lon in whichever order yeah and that that makes it fun and interesting yeah 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 exactly yeah um, yeah so I and, and there they are some very good sailors on like like Kirsten. Yeah. Kirsten is a I'm a, uh, rooting for her and uh, uh, she's doing very well and, and uh, Simon obviously is, is a very experienced uh, short handed sailor which which showed already in the in the Citron race. Yeah yeah. And uh, and uh, Damien is going to uh, catch catch up yeah. with us. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. The um, so what happened to you? You but you you nailed Kirsten just back there. You're right on top of her. You know, like like just behind her, and then all of a sudden she got away from you. What happened? Did you when you were reaching across today? You had a kite up, and you just just keeping it, you know, yeah, on the yeah, beam. Yeah, that, that, that's what I. And then as was, soon as you was wondering that, did she turn her? Engine on or no, no, no. She put a kite up. I reckon she, I meant to ask if she's yeah, running well, with twins. Yeah, I, I saw her uh, sailing with the spinnaker. Yeah, uh, but uh, I guess I, I just got the call uh, a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, out there because it's been fun watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been on again, <laughs> off again. But, so. but I have to say that being called outside of Cape Town is not not nice. It's, it's a beautiful view, but awful smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's a nice place. They ought to get their sewage system in shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, too true. So, uh, all your charging systems are all good? All, all, what? all your electrical systems, you know, oh, the yeah, charging? Yeah. Yep, everything. Yep, that's cool. And sails uh, are all good? I'm, I'm more redundancy than last time. Yeah. So, uh, with the wind generator and, and, and uh, more solar panels and and, uh, and I, I have been uh, using the hydro generator only once so far yeah because uh, the other systems have been enough and uh, that's cool yeah that's good to hear so so anything you're missing oh well, of, of course besides family and friends lo love, love people <laughs> and my family and, and, uh, and yeah and, and this time is especially my grandchildren. I have a two and a half year old uh, grandson and almost a year old granddaughter. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, in in the package, there's a eight eight page long letter to my grandson with with pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's good to hear. And so you you've got uh, you know people interested in favorite books and reading and all that sort of stuff like. 
like what are you doing for, to get your mind off the boat and off the race at times? Are you still in, totally focused in racing? Yeah, for, for me, um, if I didn't have books uh, with me and if I wouldn't be reading uh, all the time, I think I would go nuts. That I, I, I wouldn't be able to concentrate sailing 24 7. Uh, I, I need to have uh, time to to dive into a book and, and live another life parallel to mine. And, and, uh, and on, then, on the other hand, uh, this makes it possible. Yeah, on, yeah. on land, it's not, not possible. But, yeah. but here, here uh, I just finished. Moby Dick, uh, uh, which was a bit tough for me, uh, the eight, uh, 1800s in English is a bit complicated, but <laughs> but I, I fought through it and, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, a few people got Moby Dick. So <laughs> uh, anyway, that's cool. So you want to? Do you want to? You seem very different from Lanzarote. What changed in between? I, I don't know what. Uh, uh, I don't know. The, the <laughs> all the ways, you look better. First of all, yeah, you, you look, look younger. younger. I agree younger with that. <laughs> uh, no, but you, I don't know. You look more happy, more relaxed, maybe, or more something. I don't know. This was the um, question. Or one, maybe one, one thing is that I, I, I sleep uh, on on the boat. I sleep better than anywhere else. It's ah, like okay. sleeping uh, in my mother's flat, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I, I can sleep in enough to, uh, except when I'm too close to land. <laughs> ah, yeah, you don't like that, yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you're heading to the Southern Ocean. What's your game plan now? How are you going to catch Kirsten and uh, catch Simon? Uh, I'm not aim, aiming at catching anyone because uh, uh, I said that in, uh, when we are sailing on the Atlantic, it's a boat race, and uh, in the Southern Ocean, it's a race against the elements. And yeah. I'm, I'm uh, very humble uh, 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 going <coughs> going down there and going to play it safe. Yeah, 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 exactly. Do you want to say anything in Finnish? You know, like just to to take it out of people or whatever? Uh, terveisiä kaikille tutuille ja, ja tuota, erityisesti perheenjäsenille, rakkaille. Mulla on ikävä teitä, mutta kyllä tämä kisa tässä reippaasti menee eteenpäin. Viimeistään mamma synttäreillä nähdään toukokuussa. Moi moi! Okay. Okay. This second race is different from the first one. You are feeling different, right? Or is just the night time? Because every time we see you, it's night time. So please, in Hobart, come earlier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tap you. I, I try. <laughs> uh, I, I was planning to come daytime and and uh, uh, here and I think four or three. A few days ago, I thought that I would be here already yesterday daytime ah, okay. and so I had a shave and, and, and <laughs> oh, washed my hair and yeah, yeah, changed yeah. my shirt and then it was, was went uh, two days longer and so uh, today I, I realized that I had, I had to shave again, again. And, and it was again in pain so <laughs> but so in, in, to, oh, yeah. to home but I will time it so that I will have my makeup ready <laughs> yeah yeah Every, sorry, no, everyone's no. into the anti-fouling. What anti-fouling have you got on the boat? You know? uh, it, it's a Jotun, uh, I think it's called C460, which is a Norwegian uh, paint, but it's produced in, in uh, Finland. Yeah. And uh, it, it's uh, much better and stronger than the one I had last time, the oh, yeah. that I had a few barnacles. I'm not worried that I would have get into such a massive uh, problem this time. Yeah. Last time I counted that I had about uh, uh, um, a, approximately around 3,000 uh, <laughs> barnacles attached to the boat and, and now when I removed them I had maybe 30 on each side, maybe 50, 60 altogether, yeah. all, only in the area around, around the rudder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. do you have enough water, food, everything? Yeah, I, I collected uh, more than 100 lit liters rainwater uh, at the equator. I have mm. this, well, now, now, okay. this is reefed, but in, in the foot of the sail, I have mm. these small loops. Yeah. And I, I put the put a sail tie here and then with the uh, spinnaker boom lift I lift it up so that it, it makes it it mm. like a mm. how do you call it a, like you, uh, you have in hou you houses the, yeah catch the water and then then I put the one bucket there another other there and, and uh, mm. it, yeah. it works very efficiently it's sim mm. simple and efficient yeah that's all good okay so and how is it down below like home wise is it uh, damp and moldy or is it uh, pretty no, dry it, it's so far it's very nice and uh, I, I had a big cleaning day also a few <laughs> days ago to be ready to come here <laughs> <laughs> okay yep. so at least I, that I, kept you busy tapio you you're you're on the leeward side so yeah uh, nah, so it's all you, fine. you get the smell so <laughs> <laughs> when, when i got back to losello de Lone last time I was told that the boat smelled uh, like a, it, it smelled human being. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can believe it. Yeah, I can believe it. Anyway, looking good. Did anyone get, anyone get the time on this? So he's keen mm. to get going. No, but nope. the what's the time say on there? Twenty-one minutes to start. So you probably got about one. One thing minutes. about keeping the uh, uh, housekeeping is that uh, uh, there was. Uh, in, in the in the rush in in uh, Los Alba de Lon, I I own uh, I, there's no dishwashing uh, detergent and and on, only one bottle of chlorine and no toilet brush, but <laughs> but two uh, dishwashing brushes. Oh yeah. And uh, so I I use the other one in the toilet. <laughs> but not, but one, uh, when when I had this cleaning day, I realized that the. You one I one no. that I have in the galley is much more tired, so maybe I changed them. <laughs> okay, well that's a good one. So, uh, yep. No, well, at least you might be cleaning your teeth with it anyway. <laughs> so that's cool. Okay, well it's all good to see. Oh, it's all good to see um, that everything's working and that you're well to head on down to Hobart. So. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you when you get there. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, one one thing I, I need to say is, is that I'm I'm super thankful for for the Galliana team who who came to to Le Sable de Lon and and helped me to get the boat ready. Or actually, they didn't help me. They they did it, and I I, I was busy doing everything else. Yeah. And <laughs> and it, it was fantastic to have all this all this help and and also all the people who. We were working on the boat in the spring and and uh, fixing everything up so that uh, everything works. Uh, um, I'm super uh, yeah. every day feeling thankful uh, for them. Yeah, yeah. Galliana being uh, your ocean globe race boat, 50th anniversary Whitbread boat, and we've been watching progress. You'll be happy to know it's all looking good. Yeah. She's out of the water now and all that sort of stuff. So. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> I have I have to confess that. That uh, while I'm I'm reading uh, my books and concentrating on this race, but I I also have in the book which I gave to you, there's a 17-page to-do list for Galliana. <laughs> oh boy! So, uh, Pia will, will be listening to that because you yeah, told me last time. Sure. The, the, so, yeah. so yeah. also here apologies to the <laughs> team for the list, but but the aim is that we are that we should have a nice and enjoyable race next year too yeah well i was on that matter i was gobsmacked when you guys went north of the north of the high right you know at one stage you were looking like you're going to lose out to kirsten big time because she was down south yeah, and if yeah it was a southeaster now she would have cleaned up and i was surprised because because you know what goes on down there and it must have become you got pushed up yeah. by the wind rather than by yeah, I, w I would have wanted to go further south, but uh, the high high pressure uh, turned the winds so that that yeah. uh, uh, it was head winds and and uh, I just uh, conservatively sailed on the tack which was closer to the ram line, yeah. and that took me further north than I would wanted to be. But then uh, at the same time, the hype was. Uh, so far south that I thought that it was super risky for uh, Kirsten to be so far south that she uh, I was 
thinking that she would get stuck there. Yeah. But uh, it, it's interesting how it does work. That, yeah. That well, you got you got you guys got the one week when it wasn't southeast. We yeah. were blowing southeast before you went up there, and it's going to start blowing southeast again. So you're mm -hmm. going to have just enough time to squeak around the corner, I think. <laughs> It'll be light, light headwinds. But anyway, yeah. that's all good. And uh, next time you come here, you'll be able to stop. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're <laughs> great. Play, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. So uh, it's not a bad place. So, yeah, uh, it was ni ni nice to have this boat uh, which came out already to meet me. I, I was trying to shout to them that next that we'll have a beer together next year. So. <laughs> yeah, two tree. Yeah. Two tree. Okay. Well, your 20 minutes is up, so you can uh, decide how you want to handle that. And Kirsten, you'll see which way we're facing. Kirsten's uh, pretty much off your starboard bow now. You'll see a red port light later. So, uh, yeah. but she sailed in all the way, Tapio. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Um, very good. Okay. So, um, what else do we need to talk about? Anything uh, in particular? Uh, we don't want to hold him up. He's got pressure yeah. on to catch I up to Kirsten. I was wondering if we told, tell him for part or if he's not in the room. So oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, because uh, he no, we can't say about some things. Yeah. Uh, just because uh, Pat's had a problem with his wind vane. You heard about that? No, I no, didn't. Pat, Pat's got a big problem with his wind vane, and uh, the best outcome is that he becomes Chichester class. But he's in tomorrow afternoon, and he'll decide what he's going to do. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Which wind it's vane Aries, does he Aries have? Aries wind vane. A couple okay. of bearings have collapsed, and he's. Uh, we spoke to him on the phone today, and oh, uh, he's, he's he's not not happy, chappy. Uh, he oh, can't I'm, continue I'm on. Sorry, in, in, sorry in for thinking. him because he has been sailing very yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect yeah. him so very he, much. He's got to get parts here, so it'll be Chichester or whatever, but he'll decide tomorrow. And uh, then you've got um, the next day, um, in the morning, it'll be um, Ablish. Yeah. Followed Ablish parked for three days. I don't know whether you heard about that. He, he parked in the centre of the high, couldn't get out. Yeah, of it. yeah, well, and, yes, yeah. I, I understood. Yeah. He's not happy about that. Well, it's I can understand, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then Damien is on his hammer right behind him. And yeah. uh, Michael Goog is uh, 100, uh, or, you know, behind that. It's I was a bit surprised up. that Damien uh, took so a uh, northerly route. Well, um, he turned the corner. You, you got the breeze. You guys had yeah. to keep going south yeah. when you got around Tunadadi, but he, it swung really quickly, so he was able to cut the corner. It took out yeah. two days. Uh, yeah. you know? And he's slowly been angling down, so it's yeah. pretty good. But the relative yeah. distance between him and Simon stayed the same. But uh, yeah. my, Michael Goog will be interesting to see how, how he will do yeah. in the Southern Ocean because, the, in my opinion, the catch rig might turn to be an ad advantage. Yeah. Uh, because uh, uh, the winds are not all the time from straight behind. It's quite a lot of... Um, beam and broad reaching yeah and then the mission stay sail will be uh, will be efficient uh yeah, yeah. When, when it's not the gear force winds he's been doing pretty well and then he's and then had also good sails too yeah yeah and then then also <laughs> when it's uh gear force winds dead downwind his master is a forward. bit further forward yeah. and lower so yeah that, that would be Plus he's got a ba plan to strip the mizzen if it's a gale, he'll take the boom off, drop the main mizzen sail completely and fold his, he's got no dodger, just to keep the boat running downwind. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story. Um, but he's got a beautiful Genoa, beautiful Genoa, because Ada sponsored the Genoa, you know, that's what okay. she was saying about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, but and, he's doing well. La and last time in Lanzarote, he was the only, the first one arriving with the day. You all arrived night time, yeah. Goog was... Uh, First one in the daytime. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, we anyway. could admire the sail. That's why we speak about the sail. And, and Jeremy's got a big problem with barnacles. Major, major problem with barnacles. That's too bad. Yeah. That's and uh, Guy Waits heard about Guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Big barnacle problem, but he's carrying on, and he'll he, he's pretty confident left to slip when he gets here, and he'll be Chichester class. Yeah. And Arnold is uh, way behind. You know, he's been yeah. not going fast, so he's reflecting on what he'll do because he, he's he's got challenges trying to make the gate in Hobart so yeah that's what I have been um, and who else Elliot just blew out these last spinnakers uh, little, uh, yesterday or something and uh, he's he's actually ahead of those guys so he Elliot's the next one after Jeremy so Jeremy then Elliot and then uh, Ian Herbert Jones and Arn order at the back yeah you know, so uh, well uh, has Ian had problems with with the boat or no, something? No, no, he's, uh, he's, it's okay, he's, um, he's just not starting as fast as he's, he's not faster than because no, no. the east one was 
sailing the boat much much faster. Yeah, 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 but look at it. Yep, for sure. So anyway, everyone's happy. A few challenges. Ertens had major electrical problems that sorted him out, and uh, he's uh, quite happy. He's had heavy winds and five meter seas and stuff. Will, will he be able to continue in the uh, GGR, or is he going to drop no, into he, the GGR? At one stage, he was going to do Chichester, come yeah. in and stop. He hadn't totally decided, but he, uh, he he did that back in the Cape Verdes. He was going to Cape Verdes, but kept going with with little power. But now yeah. he solved it. And it looks like he's going to keep going, but we'll know when he gets here. Okay. He'll, he'll decide when he gets okay. Here, so. Send him so my there. best regards. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, tell, tell tell him regards from me that just keep going. Keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, problems yeah. will solve <laughs> themselves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so it's all uh, all happening. So uh, yeah. anyway, and it's good to see you uh, moving so well. You know, having a race. Because <laughs> I know what you yeah, like. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. Okay, got a huge following too, by the way. Um, you know, plenty of people in Finland are following and uh, uh, all that stuff, so all is good. Okay, you better bugger off then. All right. Yeah, um, otherwise, all the Do we take a selfie? Back, back, to, work, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. back to the salt <laughs> mask. Have you got a camera? Yeah. We need to do a selfie. We would like so, to do a selfie with you, Tapio. Yeah, stay there. Stay there. We need a selfie if we can. Wait. Got the camera. Wait, I need to uh, give you the microphone, don't wait. Okay. I put you the microphone okay. here. Okay, all the volunteers in the yeah, camera who can yeah. come. I need to, I gotta hold oh, this here. Camera, yeah. Right here, this is getting boring. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Okay. Yeah, closer. Where is Tapio? Where is Tapio? There you go. Tapio. You can't touch anyone, don't I touch anyone, Tapio. Tapio. Okay. Tapio. Just keep shooting. You've got lights. Is that my light? That's mine. Yes, <laughs> no, no, we don't need oh, that light. Sorry, no, no, I think he's right. gone in my face. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't watch Tapio. Watch Tapio, don't Watch Tapio, you better watch Tapio. Don't watch here. Watch there. Hang on, take the light out. Don't watch Tapio, don't watch Tapio. We did not record. Okay, that's it. All right, Tapio, <laughs> stay good. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for the films and bits and pieces, and uh, uh, just so safe. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll try to practice with the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all. Uh, it's all cool relative. to see you, Tapio. You look. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're all with you. you so look great. Uh, keep up the good work. Go catch, catch, catch. Just so you know. Just so you don't get disappointed. Tomorrow we're going to put a picture up of Kirsten kissing, kicking your butt. Yeah, in the Saab de Lone, right? Because yeah, <laughs> she beat you here. Great. So but just be warned. Yeah, I'm, I'm all, all for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I told her that not yet. Uh, well, uh, I, I was uh, catching her up because I, I had spinnaked her up and yep. she had the pulled out Genoa. And she said that, that uh, well, she'll need to take the uh, spinnaker up too. And I, I said, well, I can take mine down so it's easy, easier <laughs> because you uh, and I told her that you deserve to be uh, uh, here before uh, me because it's your home port and she'll be sailing so uh, <laughs> oh, don't say that Tapio Ada's been saying all day Tapio's being a gentleman just letting no. her come through no <laughs> absolutely no she kick your yeah, ass she Tapio she just kick your ass that's all and I'm very proud about that yeah. okay it's, all a, right. it's a race no mercy yeah exactly <laughs> yeah okay well, go on. What are you going to do now? You going to put sails up? You going to motor out a bit, or? I, I think I'll, I'll motor out for a while and, yeah. and try to find some. Je n'ai pas plus parlé français pour le moment parce que don't profiter. Yeah, we didn't get much French stuff. Yeah. Anyway. No, okay. Yep. Okay, Tapio, stay safe. Yeah, have fun. Alex wanted to say something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just going to. Sulla oli tätä terveisiä ja turvallista jatkoa Piialta, Pia Grönblomilta ja se Galiana tiimiltä. Kiitoksia. Tietenkin Eero ja tota, Elina oli lähettänyt terkkoja ja sitten äm, Siljalta tuli kuva. Tota, tässä on Emil oppi tänään, että sille tulee pikkuveli. Oi, ai se on poika. Se on poika. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get another grandson. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will make a 49er team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds cool. Hyvä jatko. Jatko. Yeah. 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 Comme vient juste d'apprendre euh, ce que vient de lui dire son neveu en hein, finnois, c'est okay. qu'il sera à nouveau pour la troisième fois grand-père. Oh, voilà. On le sait à l'instant.
Okay. Very good. Yep. You don't get much French across, eh? I can make a, yep. a short text. It explains very quickly yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. 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 Yeah, you on va laisser, le laisser repartir en cours. Je n'ai pas pu trop parler français pour laisser Don lui poser ses questions, ses euh, questions en anglais. Euh, grosso modo, ce que nous a dit Tapio. D'abord, moi, je vais vous dire ce que moi je vois par rapport à Lanzarote. Je le trouve ici euh, plus épanoui, plus dans la course, euh, plus relaxé peut-être aussi. Euh, avant, il était très occupé. Il a l'autre bateau, Galiana, à gérer. L'autre course aussi, l'autre tour du monde qu'il fera à partir de l'année prochaine. Et je l'ai trouvé ici, euh, cette fois-ci, plus, euh, plus zen, plus, on se disait avec Don, il était aussi plus beau physiquement, et il a il a l'air plus reposé, ou je ne sais pas, il paraît plus jeune en tout cas. Et, euh, et donc voilà, il nous a parlé un peu, il a de l'eau, c'est ce qu'il expliquait tout à l'heure, il, il a pu récupérer de l'eau à l'équateur, il, il est bien avec son bateau, et c'est ce qui compte le plus, et puis il est content parce que la dernière fois, il a eu non seulement les problèmes de barnacles, mais aussi d'autres, pas mal de soucis, parce que le bateau n'était pas assez prêt, cette fois-ci il est mieux organisé, et c'est et, et ce qu'il nous dit. Et puis il nous, parlait, il nous a parlé un peu de sa nourriture, de, de, de comment se passe la vie à bord. Il lit beaucoup, c'est ce qu'il a dit à Don tout à l'heure. Il a dit qu'il deviendrait fou s'il n'avait pas tous ses, livres, tous ses livres à bord. Et, et c'est ce qui lui permet de, de se changer les idées parce qu'il dit oui c'est une course, oui je suis en course et je, et, et je me bats pour, pour être bien devant parce que c'est ce ça qui est beau, c'est de faire la course. Mais en même temps je ne peux pas faire ça à 24 heures sur 24, 7 jours sur 7. Donc je crois que c'est grosso modo un peu euh, en résumant assez rapidement ce qu'il nous a dit en, 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 en anglais tout à l'heure et puis euh, en tout cas ce qui est sûr c'est qu'il est heureux il est content et il fait l'une avec l'océan et, et il nous a dit et c'était très beau tout à l'heure que que jusqu'ici c'était une course, c'était une course les uns contre les autres, mais qu'à partir d'ici c'est une course avec les éléments parce qu'il sera dans les mers du sud et c'est contre les éléments qu'on qu se bat après, non pas contre les autres concurrents. Il a un peu les... Ah, il repart, il va repartir. Il n'aime pas, il me disait aussi tout à l'heure qu'il n'aime pas être à côté. Okay, au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir. Bonne chance. <rire> See you Merci later. Ça, bien. Et le voilà. À partir de là, vous le savez, il rentre vraiment dans les mers du Sud, que lui, il connaît bien. Hop, hop, je donne à côté. Non, 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 non. What I need to do? Hop, le cadreur opérateur Don McIntyre qui me demande de regarder dans la caméra. Donc voilà, il va vers les mers du Sud euh, et, puis, et puis il est content. Et c'est ce qui compte, c'est le plus important. Merci à vous de nous avoir suivis. Juste un petit mot pour Jane Jane que je vais dire en anglais parce que parce qu'elle ne parle pas français. So Jane Jane, this is for you. I know you would like so much to be here to, to cheer Stapio and, uh, and we all think about you and we miss you a lot with all the technology. And this guy, oh no, I cannot take I the... I got the mic. He has yeah, the I mic, he has here. the thing, he has we everything. Yeah, we so we were with you. Eve today, with Ryan who do the yeah. pictures with Alex, his nephew, yeah. with Peter, got everyone here. and uh, well, I'm more big thanks to, to, to all, our, uh, to all yes. the volunteers who spent half of the yes. night on the water, and yes. I can tell you he's not Smile. so warm. Smile. And, See you later. <laughs> yes. oh, 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 we're losing it. And Don McIntyre doesn't have dinner, so I think he, no. he wants to go to have dinner now. Yes. Thank you very much. Tapio See you tomorrow food. for Pat, Lulus, Lulus, and after for Abilash, maybe. Yeah. Nighttime or not, I don't know. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank bye you bye. All. See you later. Bye bye.